Hi guys, we're looking at a pH and salinity monitor to go on the Kent Marine uh, 94 litre tank. I just really wanted a backup to the Senai. The Senai does vary its uh, figures over the course of a month as the uh, as the card gets nearer to being replaced the pH levels seem to vary uh, just a little bit and for some reason looking around the UK market there's just not a hell of a lot available uh, if you look at uh, bulk reef supply over in America in fact many of the American uh, websites there's just, just loads more uh, marine uh, marine tank equipment available over there for uh, for some reason I actually had to uh, look to Germany for this this was I think it was on eBay and it was uh, 75 pounds comes with the uh, salinity probe and uh, pH probe which is uh, obviously replaceable uh, I think these probably will last about a year and uh, I just wanted to as I say have a backup and uh, just confirm the, the, the readings this can be calibrated and it is supplied with a solution of uh, uh, pH 7.0 and uh, 35, sorry, 35 ppt for the salinity obviously comes with a uh, EU 2 pin adapter but uh, all you need to do is uh, get one of these adapters and uh, you know plug it in and that should go straight into uh, the wall socket uh, without any issues so I haven't uh, I haven't plugged this in I haven't done anything with it so I thought we would just have a, a closer look and actually go through the calibration procedure and see uh, see how well it uh, it works that in. The, <laughs> I've just got to show you the instructions first of all. There, <clears throat> there was a, a sheet uh, entirely in uh, German uh, so of no use to me. But it, then it came with a little booklet and uh, as soon as you start reading it it's the usual Chinglish the water quality monitor has been specially designed for the maximum facility of use. But what really made me laugh was um, the operation uh, bulletin point number five, I think it is. Uh, it says, stir gently, don't let some pleb on the electrode. <laughs> Wait for the stability symbol about three minutes. The display will show the pH, ORP, salinity, you know, TDS, whatever this particular meter is. But <laughs> I don't know where uh, where they got their translation done, but yeah, and it, it goes, uh, you know, there's similar things uh, throughout the throughout the instructions, uh, just as bad. But yeah, whatever. It's just going to be hopefully pretty straightforward to use and to calibrate. Uh, one of the odd things is that this is obviously uh, designed not to be fully submersible. You can't just, you know, attach this under the water. It's got to be, uh, you know, partially submerged, I guess, to around this sort of level. And the um, same with this. That's got to be submerged. This is in some solution. Uh, just I guess keeping the electrode uh, you know moist for whatever reason I obviously don't want it to dry out and <laughs> again this isn't they don't tell you where the water level should be at all on this so yeah I'm guessing anywhere along here and you don't want it going up above because I suspect that isn't sealed at the top or if it is it's not a guaranteed uh, waterproof <laughs> seal so anyway we've got the probes connected i'm just going to plug this in there is a little button under here that says rb or dc and for uh, mains adapter use it's got to be on the dc you've then got to turn it on okay there is a backlight now i'm hoping for my purpose i would love that to stay on all the time 
um, but I don't know whether it just times out after a while or whether you can literally just turn it on and off. I'm really hoping that will stay on because that will be perfect uh, alongside the tank so I can keep an eye on things. Yeah, hopefully you can see how clear that is. There are two rubber suckers on the back. Uh, they can be removed and if you would prefer you can put two screws into the wall and it will slot and click into place uh, but they also supply two pieces of uh, velcro and you can put them into that little cut out there and uh, stick it in place also comes with a small jewelers type screwdriver the two trimmers are on the back and clearly marked pH and PPT for salinity and uh, I suppose the best thing to do is get this salinity solution out and uh, yeah not sealed just uh, with the cap I'm just going to dunk this in <coughs> trying to see whether that will go far enough into it I'm not sure that it will so I'm just going to see if we can remove this little silicon suction cup and uh, we'll just pop that in there just rest on the top just going to give that a little a little shake and then we're just going to leave that I think a few minutes and let that settle in slowly going up I don't want to adjust the trimmer until that's stabilized we're not on 4k at the moment so I'm hoping this will record longer than its usual nine minutes before it swaps to another clip if it uh, if it swaps we'll just have to upload a few videos for this but I thought it'd be interesting if anyone's got a, a tank and uh, a Senai or in fact haven't got a Senai and just like to keep an eye on salinity and uh, pH seems to be stabilizing at uh, 28 Surprised it's that far out from uh, from a factory. You think they would use, uh, you know, the, the solution to adjust this? I also noted in the instructions that, in fact, it's not on the instructions. It is on the pH solution. It does vary slightly on temperature, but there is no such uh, information on the salinity calibration. So I think we're just going to uh, adjust that. It still seems to be rising very slowly. Whether you can see that, I don't know how much travel we've got on this potentiometer, but uh, it's obviously not quite there yet. Oh, I think I'm turning that the wrong way. Just going to hold it there for a few minutes, I think. Give it another little shake. I don't know why it's dropped down <laughs> since I moved it. There you 
could be that it's not quite submerged properly in this bottle there's uh, maybe just a little bit of air in those electrodes between them so we're just going to back that off a little bit Trying to. Because I can always uh, check this reading with the uh, refractometer. I think we'll have to settle with that figure. It's close enough, I think. Sod it. Let's see if we can get it right. Oh, I'm moving it, and that's not moving. <laughs> Oh, there we go, it just flashed up to 35. I'm just going to turn it off and then back on again and see if that uh, makes any difference. I'll also put the light back on. Yeah, I think it's close enough. I think we'll be happy with, uh, with that. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that off for a minute and we will just take that out. Now the pH probe, it does say to clean it in alcohol. And I do have some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just wondering whether we should in fact do as it says, uh, because there is a solution you know, on the probes already. Uh, hmm. I suspect we probably should. Uh, how the hell do you get that off? Wow. Okay, 